Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1181, which is a super hard level with this kind of goomy skull and these lightning strikes, and it always scares me. And I've actually played this level two, through two times, and it scares me even more, because I know I have to get through this layer-locked chocolate, and then down through this 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 layer thick frosting, and into all of these little cubbies. I do have some helpers on the board, but... They're not sufficient for all of the work that needs to be done. I need to break through here, and I don't have a setup for that yet. So I'm going to exit and re-enter as often as I need to, at least to get something in here. I need at least a, a stripe that can strike through some of that licorice. If I don't have that, I don't want to keep going. What I also want is a mouse that responds. <laughs> My mouse is acting funny. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pause the recording and come back when I like the looks of this setup. I'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay, after three tries, I got something and I fixed my mouse. So let's see what I can do here. I know I can make this stripe and I know it's not really spectacular. Ooh, but if I can pair it up with something. Now this is particularly helpful because it's going to take out all of that licorice and uh, open things up for me so hopefully I can get rid of this chocolate too. I said that this is my third playthrough. The first couple times I just had such a hard time with the chocolate growing and attacking me. So here I've made a much better situation for myself and I'm going to try to get rid of all of the chocolate at once. There we go. Now the fish is going to go out and he's going to head off to where he needs to. And now I've got this set up. I know I didn't have that completely set up the way I wanted but usually I can only get one or the other of these sides to work out perfectly anyway. Um, I'm wondering if I could, no, I was going to try to get a color bomb with the blue, but I don't see that working. So instead I'm just going to go ahead and hit this as strongly as I can. I want to keep hitting this frosting over and over so that I can clear this out and start working immediately down here. Okay, I don't have a good setup now, so let's look for that. There we go. To look for things we can put together to help us. I've got a lot of specials, but they're not lining up well. I think I'm going to do this to take things out that way. When in doubt, blow things up, right? Use one thing to trigger another. Okay, so now I have colors down here. If I could make moves down here, I would, because this is right in, in the action where I need to be. I can't, so I'm going to look up here, and I'm going to try to concentrate the colors down. Um, I can't concentrate the colors down. I can't reach any of the things that I need to get rid of. So I don't have a lot of red in the center area. Ooh, I can do that. If I can strike here, I will. Here we go. See, taking out the red helped me to concentrate things down. I'm going to punch through here quickly. I'm going to make a stripe. I still didn't alter this. I'm going to keep working. Oh, I like this. I'm going to do this. I don't quite know why. But if I can get this to slide down here, then that's a good reason why. There we go. All right, so I took a move that actually was not a stellar move, realized it, and then decided I needed to do something better with it. Um, and that sometimes happens where you develop the strategy as you go. You look at what the board can give you and, and how the board is flowing. Because there are these cutouts here, this flows like water. Taking out as much frosting as I can will allow me to populate it with as much candy as possible. The more candy we have on a board, the uh, better opportunity we have to make matches and specials. Nice. I know I can make this special up here, but I'm working down here now. So unless it's likely to help me down here, I'm not going to go for it. Look at this. I've got four blue lined up here. We don't have any over here, though. But the chances are good this is going to really create, you know, at least two... I don't know though, it's so hard to reach. If I can get more blue on the board, I'll just be better off for it. I've got some blue lined up there. I think this is a good shot now. There we go, we got two horizontally striped candies. 
Still not enough to take out these guys, but we're close. All right, so do I make a special or do I... Oh, I think I can do something with the purple here on this one. Sometimes I have to look above and away. I have to look up here to see if I can create a special to strike here if this doesn't seem to be working out. But I think working in here, there we go, is the best opportunity if I can manage it. So that's how I beat this on my third playthrough, even though it's a super hard level. I waited for a good setup in the beginning, and then of course it got better by a little bit of luck. I took a stripe and was able to put it with a wrapped candy, and right away that allowed me to open up this area. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.